I don't have much time, but here's part two of the craziest things I've ever did in a toxic relationship. Before I went out of time, I told you guys that my ex had called me on FaceTime and told me that he was going to go walk on the beach with his cousin, and I believed him because his cousin was in the FaceTime. But since I had his location, I saw that he was, like, at a house. Like, his location pinged to a house that was nearby the beach. He wasn't really walking on the beach. So, mind you, I'm frantic, okay? Literally blowing up his phone, calling, 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 calling. No answer. So now I'm livid. I just Googled the address of the house that his location pinged to. Now, I don't remember the name now because this was a few years ago, but I got, like, the person who lives there, their first and last name, and all their children. So what did I do next? I looked in all of his Instagram followers for someone that had the same exact name as what I just Googled. And sure enough, I found one. Some girl had the same exact last name as the owner of that house that he follows, and she lived in New Jersey. So I put two and two together, and I freaked out. So I'm blowing his phone up even more. I even considered driving an hour to catch him in the act. But before I was able to do that, he calls me back a few hours later after the whole incident of him not answering the first time. And at this point, I've been texting him and calling him and whatever. So he's like, babe, what's going on? Like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, what the hell? Where have you been? Like, what the fuck is up? And he's like, oh my gosh, like, I lost my phone on the beach, like, me and my cousin were looking for it, you know, it was dark outside, I was trying to find the phone, I couldn't find it, and I go off. I went off, and I told him every single thing I discovered. I happened to be wrong with the name, I don't know how the heck I happened to be wrong, but he was cheating, just not with that girl. So my gut was right. But my research was wrong. And the way I found out that he was actually cheating was that girl, months later, DM'd me on my Instagram account and told me everything. I never looked back. The end. You know, I've always been a skeptic whether or not to believe if those websites actually work where you can find the name and address and number of where that person lives within that area. So thank you for proving to me that it does work. Clearly she wouldn't act like this if that partner didn't put her through this type of catastrophe. If he would have just stayed loyal and honest, she wouldn't have to be 007 trying to figure out to and fro where this person is. The fact that she knew his location, the name of where that person was staying within that location, the number, the kids, all of that. But then to come to find out that that wasn't the person makes me wonder who was he really cheating on her with? Regardless of the circumstances, it's still toxic from the partner and her herself. It's clear to say that they were both bad for each other. I mean, obviously it was his loss because I know if I needed to know how many licks does it take to get to the center of the titty pop, she's gonna be the one to find out. I mean, she was able to find out everything. She's the one to find the reason why the chicken crossed the road. Point that I'm trying to make is this. At the end of the day, it was wrong for her partner to cheat on her. Even more crazier that she found out all the information she needed to find out. Either way, they were both toxic. I mean, what's your guys' thoughts about this?